Hey everybody, Happy Gamer here. This is a supplemental video on Imperial Knights. I'm going to be talking about the Ion Shield and why you shouldn't care about it. I'm going to be talking about how these things really can be popped in one turn fairly easily. And I'm going to be talking about it from the standpoint of a Tyranid player and Sisters of Battle player because those are my two armies. Which means as a Sisters player most of what I'm saying is going to apply to Space Marine players because we use the same weapons. So, I'm going to start with talking about the Ion Shield. A lot of people are excited about the Ion Shield and they're also excited about... Um, the weapons on the Imperial Knights. I was excited about it too. After a week of actually playing it though and not just reading the codex to people online, I can tell you the Knight is not much of a game changer as you might think. I mean, I like it. It's a very nice support unit. It's a great ally unit if you have an overall strategy in which the Imperial Knight fits into. Great, great model but if you're a player who just thinks i'm gonna buy one of these and walk across the table and kill everything in the world you are going to be sad very sad so let's start with the ion shield <clears throat> the ion shield looks really impressive on paper uh does not get used that often in an actual game and I say this after actually having played them in actual games. And here's why. Barrage weapons hit side armor. What side armor? I don't know. I don't know. So we just made it up on a fly. Uh, in the actual few situations where the knight had its ion shield on the side when it was hit by a barrage weapon, we agreed, hand of fate. Roll a die, one to three, it was on the side that your shield is on. Four to six, it wasn't. But this is not in the rules. Just, this is just us being freaking gamers with each other. You might not might meet a player who's willing to do that. Uh, they might just insist it's always on the side that your um, <laughs> iron shield wasn't on. But like I said, it has to be on the side in the first place. If you had it on the front, it's not even an issue. You got hit on the side. And other than that, you also have other blast marker templates uh, that say measure your cover saves from the direction of the hole. I don't know. But like I said... If you don't even have it on the side, don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Next, we're going to be talking about those six hull points. A lot of people are excited about the six hull points that a knight has. You can run through six hull points shockingly fast. First, I'm going to cover it with the Tyranid players. So, Tyranid players, listen up! Look for your shock grubs. Shock grubs. One of them's on your thorax weapons. This is a tin plate weapon with haywire. Haywire. And I got one, two words for you. Wall three of death. D three hits. Just hits. Um. And as far as I know, it, you don't. You this is a then one of those questions, but it, there's not actually a template, so it's not actually like you lying it down. Uh, I made the argument that there is no direction here. Uh, you just take. We're assuming that as it's running up and in the melee of everything like that, you just take D3 hits. Okay. Um, forget your ion shield with haywire. With haywire. So the Tyranids have a couple weapons, one with a blast and one with the thorax template that will hit it. D3 haywire. Boom. It's a chance that it'll be down, pretty good chance that it'll be down three hull points just from that. And then 
in the next turn, you can still actually just shoot it. Next, for the sisters and or space marines, melta weapons and more specifically, melta bombs. Suddenly now there is a reason to take melta bombs. This is especially true if you have a unit where not just the veteran sergeant takes melta bombs, but the whole unit gets melta bombs. Well, wow, in that case, <laughs> you know, just a unit of 10 all come running by. One melta bomb attack. Ouch. How long do you think that would take to go through six hull points? Even just one is pretty bad. And of course, like I said, I tested it against my um, Seraphim squads. And they come with uh, two, two units, two sisters can be upgraded with two Melta pistols. And if you don't know, pistols fire as one shot each. So I had two sisters with Melta pistols, Inferno pistols, jump up to a knight. That's four shots. And they were off of his shield arc. And guess what? I got four hull point hits. Followed by an assault with the veteran sister superior who laid a melta bomb on its ass. Five hull point hits. One round seraphim squad. And it wasn't even that hard. So, don't worry about it, is what I'm saying. Uh, these guys are not a game changer. They're useful. They are useful. So that was the bad side. Now let me give you the good side for sisters slash space meanies players. Uh, watch my sister's video. You know I play them as a static defense army. And I always take fortifications with them. In this case, I always take... The Fortress of Redemption. And when I actually played using the Knights, you will find that the Knight is the exact height necessary so that when it's standing behind a Fortress of Redemption wall, it's just perfect. It's just like a model standing on the on 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 the balcony on the on the Bastion. It's 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 fantastic. I mean, it's just boom. Three plus cover save. Now, in that case, I had two knight paladins sitting, standing behind the wall with my sisters in it. And they're just sitting there, boom, 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 rapid fire, battle cannon, four shots a turn, plus the missile salvo from the fortress itself and the Icarus cannon. That was awesome. See, that's the knight as a part of a strategy. And in that case... I didn't even worry about an ion shield. I just, 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 it was, it was game over. Uh, I believe I was playing space meanies at the time, but uh, yeah, it was, it was pretty much done. I mean, what are you going to do against that? So, it's a mixed bag of nuts. Don't go charging them up. Talk to you next time when I do the Imperial Knight Codex. Now that I have game experience with them. Bye!